Hey guys, welcome to my channel and here we get the another optional quality update in Windows 10 laptop and desktop. This should be last optional quality update for normal Windows 10 users and for ESU users this should be not a last optional quality update. You will get an extended one year update program system. Ok to update it, first go to settings. Ok now in settings if we go in update and security. So you can see it is checking for update and you can see optional quality update available 2025-08 cumulative update preview for Windows 10 version 22H2 for x64 based systems KB5063842 and guys if you want to learn more about this update simply click on learn more. And here click on Windows 10 version 22H2 update history. So you can see August 26, 2025, KB5063842. Click on it. So here you can see notice for Microsoft Store application updates. Windows updates do not install Microsoft Store application updates. If you are an enterprise user, see Microsoft Store apps, go to configuration manager. And if you are a consumer user, see get updates for apps and games in Microsoft Store. And this is the end of support information. As you can see, support for Windows 10 will end in October 2025, not for ESU users. And here is the summary. As you can see, this preview update contains the fixes and quality improvements contained in the following updates. And this is the following. This following is a summary of the key issuings that this update addresses. The bold text within the brackets indicates the item or area of the changes we are documenting. So you can see a big form, common controls, which is fixed, input and composition, which is fixed, licensing is a new, Microsoft mobile operator profile is updated. And here you can see multimedia which is fixed, Windows Hello is fixed, search pan is fixed, family safety is fixed, portable device is fixed, and Windows backup for organizations is a new thing. And here we get the known issues in this update, network device interface streaming performance issue. And this is the surfacing stack update. How to get this update and this is the file information. Okay, now close it. And guys, when you are ready to download and install this update, go on download and install. Okay, now I am going to download and install this update. So simply click on download and install. And you can see downloading is start. Guys, it will take several minutes. I don't know what is going on in Microsoft downloading system. It is taking too much time to download and update. Hopefully, as you can see, this time downloading didn't took a long time. It completed in a short time interval. As you can see, we get the downloading 100%. Guys, I was thinking that the Windows 10 is going to end of support in uh, October. So why Microsoft is providing new feature for Windows 10 users? Perhaps let's see what is going on. So as you can see downloading 100%. Let's see when installing will start. Like downloading, I hope installing will also not take too much time. And guys, there's no need to stuck on this window. Just minimize it and do other tasks. So as you can see downloading 100% let's see when installing will start. So finally we get installing in status as you can see. Let's see how much time it will take. As you can see currently the speed is going really good.
I hope I will not get that major bug this time. Let's see. As you can see, installing started form from 1%. I don't know what is this happening in a Microsoft update system as you can see currently the speed is going really good okay almost okay here you can see installing 100% completed let's see so as you can see installing again started from 11% this is what I was talking about. This is a major bug. I reported this in many videos, in many previous videos of Windows Update. And you can see Microsoft is not fixed that problem. I don't know why. As you can see, installing 20%, guys, it will take time. So kindly wait. So finally installing is at 100% as you can see. Okay. So here we get the restart now and schedule the restart option. So this should be the last option quality update for normal Windows 10 users who are not going to back up their data, don't have Microsoft reward points and not going to spend money for extended security update program but if you are enrolled in esu program you will get an extended one year update from microsoft until october 2026 so guys after the restart this update will successfully install, which will take three to five minutes. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any query related to this video, let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share, subscribe, and click on bell icon for the latest updates.